Hey friends, Crystal Kime here um, with another kind of gardening, vlogging, encouraging type of video. I kind of sandwich them all together. <laughs> so this week I went out and was taking a look at the garden. I will show you some clips, but I was looking at my peas and the gosh darn squirrels tore them up. They dug them up and ate them. No, it looks like a small animal. I wonder if it's that cat we saw. Looky here. Somebody's unburied it, but it's a pea. See if we can get that guy back down in there. So the pea should be coming up soon. Yeah, it looks like something's been stepping in here. We did see a cat. We'll see. Hopefully they didn't. Yeah, here's another one that's been unearthed. A couple. Oh. Uh, They're sprouting though. Did you guys see that? At least they didn't. At least they can still grow. Yeah. They're not eating. <laughs> but who been stepping in? I don't know. It looks like there's holes all the places I planted. Hopefully something didn't come along and the hole. dig them all oh, up. The they also tore up a bird feeder that I just got and me and the squirrels are gonna have a go around this year yeah yeah we're gonna figure this out <laughs> I've been thinking about it and I wanted to kind of talk about um, when you're pursuing a passion or a dream kind of like we're doing right now um, there's a lot of things that can creep up that are discouraging that are doubts that things that go wrong and I kind of want to talk through that and kind of where I'm at and some of the things that I'm working through and processing through. And while we do that, I'm not very good at multitasking, but I have a ton of plants that I need to do some work on. Got some marigolds here that I need to separate. That's kind of what I'm working on. So we'll see if I can uh, multitask. Probably not, but <laughs> we'll see what we can do. So as I shared in my last video, um, if you haven't seen that, you can go check that out. I'll put a link. Um, I was talking about how we're kind of stepping out on this crazy idea of turning our garden into some sort of business and kind of just stepping out. You know, you, normally you would have, well not normally, but good practice would be to have like a business plan and know where you're going and all of this and I have tons of ideas about all of that, but just kind of stepping out and seeing what happens. Um, but as I'm stepping out, I'm having lots of doubts. Just want to be transparent with you. And I want my garden videos to be more than just talking about the garden. I want them to be something that anyone can walk away with some encouragement, some hope, and um, just speaking life into people. So I'm having some doubts. First off, let me show you something that can encourage doubts. These strawberries are done, Caputi. Um, this one I might be able to revive, but I highly doubt it. I have killed so many plants already. There's been all, let me show you. So like all these empty pots are ones that didn't germinate or had issues. And that's just a small amount. You know, I froze plants, you heard about that. You know, I am not the most knowledgeable gardener. I'm just really learning and getting started. And people have already been asking me questions about my plants and, and things and some questions I don't know the answers to. And I'm like, oh man, I've drawn some plants for some people and made some mistakes. And I'm like, I, you know, do I really wanna get into this? I'm not the most knowledgeable person. I may not have it all figured out. Um, so I've been having a lot of doubts and then discouragements like the plants getting frozen, the peas getting eaten, um, my plants, I had leggy plants in the beginning where they weren't getting enough sunlight and just problem after problem and you know a lot of times when you have problems like that or another thing that's been discouraging too is like sometimes people have thoughts that they share or they don't share or they don't get it and that can be discouraging. A lot of people keep saying, well, you're gonna be busy. Yeah, I know I'm gonna be busy. Uh, 
thanks. You know, a lot of people are saying that, which is, which is good, and I get it. Yes, I'm going to be busy, but don't you know? Don't people think that I already know? I'm, I'm, I'm already aware of the commitment that it's going to take. Um, and busy for me is a good thing. I need busy to help with my mental state at times. But you know, things like that can be kind of, uh, can be discouraging, and it can make you question. You know, when you go and you step out on a little limb to try something new to pursue something that maybe has been a passion or an idea in your heart for a long time and you have all these discouragements and doubts some of the times we can we can think well maybe this is God's way of saying that this isn't a good idea maybe this is God's way of saying I don't need to do this or you know maybe I should just step back or maybe I shouldn't do this or and I've had that happen over and over and over and over and over and over with so many things that I felt really excited about and really encouraged about. And then all these doubts creep in and discouragements and you kind of just stop. Now, I don't always think that those things are God telling us that we're on the wrong track. Um, I think at times those are truly discouragements or distractions distracting us from something that we're supposed to be doing that we're supposed to be going for um, that we're supposed to be going after so I just wanted to kind of hop on here and encourage some of you guys that if you've had some doubts or some discouragements or distractions that there's a couple things that you can do to really check is this the path that I'm supposed to be on do I need to push through and keep fighting this and going for it or do I need to redirect are these doubts valid or or whatever first thing you need to think about is are the things that you're thinking the doubts the distractions are they truthful and I've mentioned this over and over and over in several of my videos I have a video I think it's about uh, the waiting place I think it's in that video where I talk about you know lies and there's another one fighting the lies you know is asking yourself are these things that I'm thinking these doubts and disappointments are they truthful you know for instance like my plants dying that happens it's part of it but if I look at this one plant that didn't go well compared to the hundreds I literally mean hundreds I have a hundred tomato starts that I just started a few weeks ago plus the ones I started before so I have hundreds of plants going right now if I look at these two that aren't doing so hot and just focus on these two I could get really discouraged I could think man I'm such a terrible gardener man I can't do this man you know and you can go crazy with one out of hundreds and you know sometimes I think we do that we think okay this one failure or this one mess up which this might not even be a failure this plant might have issues on its own it might have it might have been something within the plant not even something that I did that caused it to dwindle out like this you know this one went had a blossom too early it probably went to flower and got confused you know it doesn't even have to be us but you know we have one thing that goes wrong and we automatically assume that we are failures and I don't know why we do that because if we look look at all the healthy plants the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of healthy plants that are successful that are going right it can send a different message it can say hey I'm actually pretty good at this we need to change our focus and stop saying oh man I'm a failure I messed one up and start saying look at this I've had hundreds of plants that are growing healthy that look good you know and the same thing's true with our life you know can't focus on the one things that go wrong and think that that means we need to quit you don't need to quit over one failed attempt you need to push through and keep learning and growing and going for it and that's what I'm choosing to do with this garden business growing gardener um, so I'm not going to focus on this one strawberry that had some issues. I'm going to focus on the hundreds of plants that are doing well and the way that it makes me feel and encourages me. And one other thing that I'm thinking about to help me to push through or to know if I'm making good choices or not is my motives. What are my motives with this? Because, you know, obviously if we're pursuing something with selfish, um, 
negative motives. That's not something God wants us to do it, but we're, we're pursuing things with a pure heart, with good motives and good intentions, then we can, you know, stand firm that this is a good thing and we can go for it and step out. And if, if we're off a little bit, God's going to redirect us. But if we keep our motives in the right place and we keep our eyes on him, he's going to make our path straight. The scripture says that. So like my motives for this garden, it's this garden, this garden channel, all of this stuff I'm doing, the cooking, all of that stuff. You know, I'm not out to make everyone into a gardener. I'm not out to make everyone into a chef that cooks things from scratch or that's not my goal or my intent or my motive behind these things. My motive behind all of this is to empower people. My desire is to empower people to know that there is more within them than they even realize that they are capable of. So if I can bring someone into the garden and teach them how to grow a plant and it gives them a boost of confidence to realize that they are capable, then I have won or I have achieved something, my goal. If someone cooks a meal and they're like, man, I can do this, I can do more, and it empowers them to go out and try something that they've always wanted to do because they had a success here, that's what I'm about, is showing you that you can do more than you realize. And if that comes after growing a plant or trying a meal, so be it. But not everyone's gonna be a gardener, not everyone's gonna be a great cook. But I wanna encourage you that there's more within you than you realize and it's kind of like a seed I've talked about this in another ver video I think created with purpose it's from a few years back um, where a seed has everything within it that it needs to become the fruit or the vegetable that it is designed to be the same thing with us we have everything within us that we need to be who God has designed us to be but so often we get fearful we get doubts, we get discouragement, and we stop just short of the things that God has called us for because we think that we're a failure. We think that it's not within us because we have one mess up or one thing that doesn't even go right. When God is telling us to keep pushing through because there are a hundred things that are going right and he has big things for us. And sometimes we stop too short of where God wants us to be. So that's my encouragement to you guys today. Um, is I want you guys to push through the doubts, push through the discouragement. And if there's something you wanna try, you wanna go for, do it. You got this and I am right there with you. <laughs> Every day I kind of question, uh, am I crazy? Just like my last video, is this crazy what we're doing? Um, is this a smart thing to get into? Uh, you know, I have all these doubts, but then I keep going back to the motives and I keep going back to the heart and I keep going back to, you know, the things that I know that are truthful and it encourages me to keep pushing through. And I want to encourage you to keep pushing through. Whatever it is that you're facing, whatever it is that you're going through, whatever new thing that you're wanting to try or achieve or whatever it is, push through the doubts, push through the distractions. All right, I'm Crystal Kime, and until next time, I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Bye.